Welcome along guys. Well today I really am on something a little bit different. I know I quite often say that but this is something you may not have even heard of. You may not even be aware of this bike. This is the Aprilia Dossodoro 900 courtesy of once again those fantastic people at Wheels Motorcycles. Link below. So this is my review of the rather special Aprilia Dossodoro 900. Strap yourselves in. So the Dossodoro 900, it's a bike I've been interested in for quite a long time actually. Something I've been trying to get hold of for the last couple of years and then they stopped importing it into the UK. It's something which, they, which came out in 2008 as a 750, then Aprilia bored it out and turned it into a 900 and then Aprilia UK stopped importing the bike so you could no longer get hold of it. So. It was something I never actually got to ride and then last year, in 2018, they decided to re-import it again and it's taken me another year to actually get my hands on one thanks to wheels being an Aprilia dealer. I finally have had this for a couple of weeks to play on and you know I've read reviews about this bike, you know people have said you know this isn't a real supermoto, this is this is a bit calmed down, you know this is this isn't going to excite your chops, but they were a little bit right. <laughs> so Aprilia do market this as a supermoto, exciting, ah yes! The replacement to the SXV 550, which was the incredible twin supermoto that Aprilia used to make. You know, that cleaned up in, that, that, is, that was the supermoto to have, an incredible little weapon. So when Aprilia say they've got a, a new supermoto, and this time it's a 900. You can't help but get excited. It puts out 96, 94, 96 brake horsepower, I believe. It's got 90 Newton meters of torque, but 897 cubic cc's or whatever it is. So, you know, that's sounding pretty damn decent. And that is pretty decent. The only thing which slightly lets this bike down is the fact that it weighs 187 kilograms dry. So it's not a light bike and you can't really class a bike of that weight as a, as a true supermoto. So let's, let's get that out of the way straight away. This bike isn't a true balls out supermoto. It just isn't. It's too heavy, but, but it's just too heavy. As <laughs> simple as that. I mean, this bike's closest competitor is probably the Ducati Hypermotard. Again, that's a, that's a heavy Supermotile-esque bike. But that makes a little bit more power than this. The Hypermotard makes 115-ish brake horsepower. And even the Hypermotard is like eight kilos lighter than this. So this, this, you know, this bike isn't about out and out performance. What this bike does very, very well is just be a nice bike. So this isn't an out and out Supermoto hooligan. You know, the, the, if you're looking at a 701, you're looking at a 690 SMCR, then look elsewhere. You know, this isn't a replacement for those bikes. What this bike does do very well is just make a beautifully comfortable, well-made bike. This bike is lovely to ride. Because of that V-twin, you've got power from sort of 2,000 revs, it's just lots of initial grunt. Very smooth, not vibey, a really comfortable ride. The seat is nicely sculpted, it's comfortable. You could do some proper distance on this, which isn't something you could do on a 690 or 701. Another fantastic thing about this bike is the way it sounds. I've got my external audio recorder in and hoping to catch some of the the audio from this. It's completely standard, this hasn't got any aftermarket pipes on, but this has got a lovely sound to it and it makes the most gorgeous pops and crackles. Hear it popping? It sounds just absolutely lovely this. Ooh, listen to that. She doesn't half sound good. I mean don't get me wrong, you can hustle this thing 
just a little bit wallowy, you know, it'll just give a bit of flex. I don't know if it's frame flex or whether the suspension is just soft. Even though I've got it hard and right up, it's just a little bit on the wallowy side. You can still do it, you can have a mad five minutes on it, and it'll go with it absolutely fine. The brakes <laughs> are brilliant. Twin Brembo set up up front, so not a single disc like a lot of supermotors. You've got a twin set up on this. Good back brake, of course, for supermoto style, so you can back it in if you wanted to. But it's just a really lovely ride, this. And that's the best thing about it. It's not that sharp in the performance stakes, but it's just a lovely ride. And these are reasonably priced as well. These are nice, 8999. Grunts, thank you. An out and out performance, let's slow down for the horse seat. Out and out performance, I'd say it's about the same speed as the 701. I mean, those are of course lighter than this, but this has 90 horsepower. Let's watch the horse a minute. Da, 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 horse and a baby. That's not really very clever, love, is it? I'll ask him for trouble. Just flick it in. Use that tool to pull yourself out on the back brake. Just tickle the front as well. It tips in very nice. It does tip in very nice indeed. It just gets a little bit, a little bit wallowy. Get over. Now you don't want to be going in the front of that, do you? You do not want to be going in the front of that. Traction control, ABS. You can turn the traction control off. Traction and wheelie are tied together. It's not a hooligan bike, I've said. It's quite difficult to wheelie. Suspension is a little bit soft for ultimate handling, but it's comfortable. You know, it isn't about ultimate handling. It'll do it, but it'll let you know it's not particularly happy about it. Hey! Bit of back brake, back it in. Oh yeah, the front feels nice actually. It'll come up, give you a little show on the talk. You can't miss the, sh the shift lights on it. You probably noticed it lights up like a Christmas tree. Oh, Dosadoro. Why can't you just be a little bit more powerful or a little bit lighter? <laughs> then you'd be a real serious proposition. This is a very, very good bike and it's just, it's just missed being a brilliant bike. And it's a shame. It's a shame that it's just missed the, missed the mark from being fantastic. If they could just extract another 10 brake horsepower from this engine, if they could just knock 10, 15 kilos off the weight, it would be a fantastic bike. As it is, it's a good bike. You know, you, it's not going to... A, a hoonatic like me, it's just not, it's just not quite there. But for someone who just wants something lovely to get to work on, have a bit of fun in the corners, but not they're not really push things, they're not interested in doing big wheelies, you know. It's a bit like the old DRZ. DRZ, I oh, don't start with that DRZ business. It's a bit like the DRZ. You know, it's that was never the fastest bike out there. That was never the lightest supermoto, but it was still a really good bike. Let's let the horsey by. This horse isn't too happy, is it? I'll shut off. There we go. No problem. Ah, oh, aren't they just? <laughs> Horses as well. Listen to this. How nice does that sound? I love the styling of this. We'll pull over and we'll do a walk around. So there it is, the Dossadoro. Highlights from the styling, if for me, is the high level exhausts. Well, exhaust really, because it's just like one big, one big exhaust with two outlets. So you've got these lovely little outlets here, one either side. I've got a lot of time for that. 
I think I think there should be more bikes with high level exhausts. We need a bring back of the high level exhaust because we like them. The seat, very comfortable, lovely red frame. The shock also sort of on the outside of the bike, a little bit different, bit like the, the Panigale. Lovely little styling touches. The rocker covers are red. The front and back rockers are red. I really like that. Little grills in the side here on the rear panel. The whole bike is just of an exceptionally high quality really. A full stainless steel exhaust. Front light has this sort of strange arrangement with the running light at the top and then the headlight there. I'm not sure about that. I'd rather do away with that running light up like that. I don't like that. Just have this headlight which looks really nice if you don't have that funny <laughs> running light. Mudguard is like a carbon textured mudguard, a bit like the Tuono has one of those standard, but the styling of it, it's sort of got that beak, it's very hypermotardy actually, that front cowl and mudguard, and then you've got little fork protectors at the bottom. The calipers are not Brembo, I tell a lie, they're Aprilia uh, branded calipers, but they look similar to an older style Brembo caliper. So, but the brakes work perfectly, don't let that put you off. Cylinder, the front rocker cover, lovely red finish again. A prillier sort of a, a machine finished on the clutch cover. I um, mean, you know, all of the levers, switches, everything about the bike is a very high quality. Dashboard has a very similar TFT to the Tuono and RSV4. It's got temperature gauge, um, obviously, what mo different rider mode, sport mode, etc. But there's no uh, fuel, there's no fuel gauge. For some reason Aprilia refused to put a fuel gauge on their motorcycles, which is a shame. But overall, the styling of the bike and the finish of the bike is exceptional. Very nice. Oh, that exhaust sound. You can imagine the sound of it with a decent aftermarket exhaust on. It would be incredible, I reckon. And I bet that rear stainless steel box is so heavy, you'd save so much weight as well by, by losing that, I expect. There's little things like that you could do to just bring the weight of the bike down and it could make it give it that extra bit of performance it's lacking. I had a little uh, quotation from my friends at Moto to see how much one of these would cost to insure Nigel. <laughs> I've spoken about Nigel before. Nigel's a a 37 year old teacher from Norwich, one conviction for speeding, but other than that, a clean license. Now, to ensure, for Nigel to ensure the Dossadoro, it would cost him £243. So that is actually quite expensive. That's not, you know, that's, that's only a little bit cheaper than a Super Duke GT. So, I'll have to get a quote for a Hypermotard to compare it to, but it's not overly cheap, the insurance on one of these. So there we go, the Dorsodoro. It's, it's a great bike. It won't blow you away with its performance, but value for money, for what you're getting and, and what it can do and the quality of it, it is exceptionally good. Don't be, it's one of those bikes where you mustn't be put off by just looking at the spec sheets. And, make, and basing your decision on what bike you're buying by shortlisting on the spec sheets alone. Because on spec sheets alone, this thing is going to score badly. In top trumps, you're not going to want this in your hand. <laughs> but actually to ride it, it is a lovely, lovely bike. And I've actually considered getting one. Wheels have actually got these. I don't want to bang on about wheels motorcycles. I don't want to be a wheels motorcycle salesman, but wheels have got these for sale at the moment with a grand off. So £8,000 for one of these on the road. £8,000, that's £500 cheaper than a 701. And it's much more buy, it's much better value than a 701. So things to love about this bike, the ease of use, it's very nice to ride. That low down torque, the brakes are excellent. The quality of it is excellent. The looks of it are lovely. Things not to like. There's very little. It's just the biggest thing about it is just a slight disappointment you have that it could have been 
so much more with just a bit more power and a little bit lighter. It could have been the top of the pack. It could have been a hypermotor beta. But as it is, it's just not quite there. I just think it needs a little bit more development and it could be right at the top of the pack. So that is the only bad thing about it, really. I can't, there's nothing else bad about this bike. Overall, it's a cracking, cracking bike and don't overlook it based on the spec sheets. There we go, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Massive thanks to uh, Wheels Motorcycles, as per usual, for lending me these bikes, which if they didn't, I'd have nothing to ride. So, why are there so many horses on this ride? <laughs> so, massive thanks to Wheels. Really appreciated. This is their demo, as per usual. So, if you want to ride this bike, me again, sorry. And I must say a quick hello to Alfie and Archie, who are a couple of subscribers. <laughs> keep watching, guys, keep watching. So, if you want to ride this bike, this is as usual. This is Wheels Motorcycles demo. So get your ass down to Peterborough, get down to Wheels, take this out, see what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you've got one of these, let me know what you think to it. What's it been like to live with? Because the more I ride this, the more I like it. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's enough for me. See you next time, guys.